Warning, this content may be disturbing to some audiences. Subscribe. If you dare. My boyfriend of almost 8 years thought lions were boys and tigers were girl lions, kind of like bulls and cows. Hey everybody, welcome to, an Ectost. People ask Reddit. What strange thing did you find out about someone else that they thought was perfectly normal? Number 1. Commenter. My husband had no idea he was lactose intolerant. He thought everyone had diarrhea every day. He's 26 and found out last year. How do you find out? His mom told him. She's known his whole life. Person B. My mother is lactose intolerant and refuses to admit it. She'll eat a cream cake in the toilet will be off limits for the rest of the day. Number 2. My husband's mother would scream and yell at him when he either got below an A grade or got second place in a piano competition. He legit thought all mothers did this until he met mine in his early 30s. Number 3. My sister said to me once, Hey, what dream did you choose last night? I was so confused. She explained that every night she goes into a dream room and picks what she wants to dream about. I got super jealous. Number 4. Commenter. Not kidding. My boyfriend of almost 8 years thought lions were boys and tigers were girl lions, kind of like bulls and cows. Person B. I can beat that. I had a friend whose girlfriend genuinely believed that bears were made to believe. I cracked so many bear jokes I lost count. She was about 30. He married her for some reason. Number 5. Commenter. My friend can't recognize faces. I only figured it out for sure when he almost got into a stranger's truck because he thought it was me because she had red hair. I've known him for like 6 years. He seemed surprised when I said that wasn't normal. Person B. My husband has this too. One example, we live close to one of his cousins and occasionally run into her around town. Only he doesn't recognize her. Even when she says John, it's me Candace. He'll still be like I'm sorry, who? It's super weird, and a little embarrassing. Person C. My daughter has a friend like that. My daughter is one of the few people she can consistently remember, and that's something incredibly special. I've introduced myself to her many times over the years, but I've done my best to never make her feel bad for not remembering me. I've taken to wearing a name tag when I know she'll be around. She's never said anything about it and neither have I, there's just a name tag there so she knows who I am. Person D. I have a close friend like that, too. Back in the day she'd only recognize me due to my long hair. It has to be really confusing to have face blindness. Number 6. My little sister always seemed to have a runny nose. Like, house would be pretty quiet but you could always pinpoint her location because of the occasional SNNNNRK. We thought she was just naturally snoggy. Doctor ran a test and turned out she's allergic to feathers. Guess what the pillow she had used most of her life was made out of? Number 7. My best friend recently told me that when he was little he thought the only way to clean his asshole was to jam the soap as far up as he could get it. Finally figured he was probably doing it wrong when he heard his mother scream at his dad, Seth. The soap smells like shit. Did you shove it up your ass or something? I still tease him about that to this day. Number 8. Commenter. I had a sleepover with a friend in middle school one weekend. I went to shower and she gave me a towel. It had a weird smell to it but I couldn't find any other towels inside the bathroom, so I used it by patting myself barely and just air drying. Turns out her whole family shares a towel to prevent having to use new ones every time. I told her how weird that was and she was shocked to find out that my family has their own towels to use, but we put them in the wash every two or so uses. I didn't sleep over there again. Person B. My wife grew up this way. It's horrifying. I took a shower at her parents' house and there is just this one moist towel that several other people have used. They at least broadened their ways later in life because they started living near us for half the year and it seemed like they had two towels for the two of them in their bathroom in the house in our city. Our family has separate towels for all members. I have at least prevented that tradition from being passed down. Person C. My family is the exact opposite. We wash our towels after every use. I stayed with a friend for a week. I asked her where I should put my towel after I used it and she said to just hang it on the rack behind the door. When I went to shower again I asked for a towel and she was like what happened to yours? My mind was blown. Now that I don't live at home anymore I use a towel two to three times like a normal person. Number 9. Commenter. In college, a bunch of friends and I were sitting around talking about things we did as a kid. 
One of the guys in the group said didn't you hate when you got a cold and your mom would give you an enema? He soon found out that he was the only one. Person B. My granddad used to give enemas for fevers. He stopped sometime in the 60s when a doctor explained it wasn't actually helping anything and the fever coming down was because of the aspirin he gave his kids after the enema. His mother did it to him, and he assumed it was part of being a good parent, treating your sick kid and all. He used to laugh about it and admitted it was a relief really, not having to do that anymore. Modern medicine is a beautiful thing. Number 10. Senior Year Study Hall I'm sitting with a dude I knew. I don't remember the context, but we were talking about growing up and he says and it was around that time when milk started coming out of my nipples. And I'm like, what? And he's like you know, when milk starts to come out and I'm like dude. That's not normal. The face he made when he realized the reality of the situation was memorable. He goes that. That didn't happen to you. And I'm like no. Then he asked the rest of the guys in the study hall did any of y'all have milk come out your nips during puberty? They said no. Number 11. Commenter. In grade 5, our teacher was running a discussion about words, and why it's important to choose the right words to express yourself during writing assignments. He asked what some of our favorite slash least favorite words were and why, so we could expand our vocabularies. We're all taking turns until it gets to be my friend Paige's turn. She gives her favorite word and explains it's her favorite because of how sweet it is. We all just assume she meant how nice it was. She then gives her least favorite word, explaining she hates how sour it is. At this point, the class is looking at each other going she just said sour, right? Turns out she has a type of synesthesia, which is a rare condition that causes a person to taste certain tastes when speaking or even thinking certain words. She had lived her whole life thinking it was completely normal to taste words, because it's such a unique and strange thing that nobody would ever talk about it being a condition. She had tests done later that year, and there were actual chemical changes in her brain and saliva when certain words were said. Pretty fascinating. Person B. My wife has synesthesia and thought it was the same for everyone until she was about 30, when she saw a book titled Wednesday is Indigo Blue and she turned to me and said but Wednesday is navy blue right? And I was like what the f are you talking about woman? Dot. I was actually very nice about it and it's super interesting. She sees different patterns and colors when she hears different types of music, and each number, letter, name etc. has its own unique color that never changes. Person C. I had a friend who had colors for letters and sounds as well. I don't remember all of them, but I recall she said A was brown and B was a mix of blues and greens. She told me my name was all the colors of Pikachu but in the wrong proportions. Person D. I have a friend with this and it's absolutely fascinating. She sometimes mixes letters and numbers of the same color when writing. One I can actually remember is 4 and G are the same, maybe green. So if she's not focusing 40 might come out G0 or singing might be sin 4 and 4. It doesn't even register that she mixed them until someone gives her the WTF face. Also names have a single color versus being all the colors of the individual letters. I'm yellow. Number 12. I had to explain to one of my friends in high school that not everyone's whole family has sex with them. This girl was 17 and was having sex with both her brothers, in their 20s, her dad, her uncle and her grandfather. I told the school counselor and she was taken out of that house and basically her entire family was arrested for either sex with a minor, rape, child abuse and a whole heap of other charges, she just thought that's what families do. Number 13. Knew a dude who pissed in an empty shampoo bottle in the shower and then he'd dump it on his feet. He also zip tied his pants shut when he slept so he wouldn't beat his meat in his sleep, apparently it happened a few times. Anyway, weirdest dude I ever met. Glad I'm not really acquainted with him anymore. Number 14. Commenter. My ex didn't think you needed to wash cutting boards. I was doing his dishes and started to wash it, and he got upset. I thought that was a common sense thing that someone in med school should know. Person B. Somewhat kitchen related. I worked at the freshman engineering department for college. In the break room we had a microwave. My cubicle I guess was closest to the break room when a TA approached me. In our freshman engineering classes we have grad students who were the main TAs, they made lesson plans with the professor, they taught at times. Anyway, he approached me because there was something wrong with the microwave. We went into the break room where I saw literal sparks fly intermittently in the microwave so I quickly stopped it. Dude was an engineering grad student and he didn't know you don't put metal in microwaves. I figure it was probably because he lived in places without microwaves but I emigrated here from a third world country and even though we had a microwave, we weren't that well off. 
But you know what, you never know how people grew up. Glad I taught him that before he burned any buildings down. Number 15. Commenter. I lived with a girl that would eat baby powder that she had stashed in the drawer of the bathroom. She would walk by the bathroom and do quick shakes of the bottle right in her mouth. She would also buy whole frozen fish from Walmart and take them out of the freezer bag and slap them hard against the brick kitchen floor before cooking them in a stew. Person B. I dated a girl that would do the same thing with baby powder, but also would roll up bits of toilet paper and go ham. It took me months to realize she didn't just take gnarly dumps and was actually eating it. Then it clicked, why she always enjoyed the baby powder air freshener in my car. Sadly, this was only the start of her madness. Number 16. Commenter. My roommate in college thought you washed clothes on every single cycle on the washing machine. Our machine had a delicate cycle, a cotton cycle, a solo rinse cycle, a permanent press cycle, etc. He always complained about the washer taking forever. It's because he was washing his clothes four to five times every time he did laundry. Person B. I had a friend who said he had to wait two hours to go out while his clothes dried. Obviously not functional so I asked if he had cleaned the lint trap recently. What's a lint trap? Fire hazard aside there was a three inch layered anthology of lint from god knows how many two hour dryer sessions. Person C. My stepbrother's clothes always stink. Like, all the time. It got so bad that my dad pretended to be doing something in the laundry room so that he could watch my stepbrother's process. He'd put the clothes in the washer, put laundry detergent in, then select the spin cycle. Then it was off to the dryer 9 minutes later. Make sure to share your personal story in the comments below and have the opportunity to be featured in a future video. Also, if you like these topics don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to continue seeing more content like this every day. See you next time.